So here's the final product on my 14 foot John boat build. I initially was considering painting the boat um, and also putting on new bunk boards. I decided not to do that. But what I did do, three quarter inch plywood. And from there to here is about five and a half feet. It's four feet wide at the back. So pretty good sized deck. Um, mounted a seat on an adjustable pedestal in here for up front. <clears throat> Threw on these awesome rod, rod holders from Bass Pro. Um, I, I really like these things. They're well built. And when you grab your rod, if you catch something, they flip back. Just so you don't get hung up in there. I threw one of these marine hatches in that I got from Amazon. Good bit of storage in here. You can fit quite a bit in that hatch. I threw on tons of these rod holders, so I have eight of these in here. I don't really use them all, but I do put like my net and boat hook, that sort of thing in there. Threw this tournament board from Bass Pro on. It's kind of nice. I've used that a handful of times. The tackle web steel, these are really cool for putting your keys, phones, wallets, that sort of thing. Fire extinguisher. The ram mount that I put that uh, Lowrance Hook 2 7 triple shot on. Um, I ran all the wiring for that down through the sides. <clears throat> and it runs into the back. So the back, I also put another Atwood folding boat seat. Another one of those rod holders. I got this on, I think, offer up. Um, just a cup holder, put some more gear in there. This, the back deck and the front deck are all three quarter inch plywood. The floor is half inch plywood. And under it, I have one inch insole foam. It's R Tech or something like that, but that's it right there. And then the carpet is from Home Depot. It's an indoor outdoor, but this stuff has a rubber backing so water doesn't leak through it. So it's really durable and it feels pretty good to stand on. I did this little hatch back here, pull the trolling motor off. And I made a cutout for the motor just because the motor is a lot more of a headache to pull on and off than the trolling motor. But got the fuel tank and a battery back there. Still more room for storage. <clears throat> you see the wiring I ran back through there. And it cuts under and behind all that. And I just did two by fours bolted through on the back for this deck to rest on. And then when I cut cut these pieces, I made this one shorter right there to give a good area for this rear deck to rest on. And then I just did some hinges. Piano hinges would also be good. This is, uh, I've used it and being able to walk around on this back deck is really nice. So you could have one person on the back, one person on the front, and you have a good bit of room between the two of you. <clears throat> There's the uh, transducer. For the triple shot, those suckers are huge. That Suzuki runs really well, pushes the motor really well. But yeah, this is the final, final product. If I were to go further with the project, I would have painted the whole boat, done the bunk boards on the trailer, which I did tires, lights, um, safety chains, tongue jack, winch. I did all that stuff, but the bunks were still decent enough, so I let those be. But that is it. it turned out exactly how I wanted. Very fishable. Thanks for watching. Uh...